Welcome to Introduction to Finance. In our Excel homework problems, we want to use this structure for every single problem that we're going to do in this course. And that uh, important structure is given equation solution, as you see on this uh, sample homework problem. Um, I believe very firmly in this structure and it works very, very well. If you take the time to type in your givens and then take the time to type out and think about the equation you're going to need to solve it, and then write in the solution in a certain fashion and structure, you're going to see great success with your solutions. So on problem number one, I would go right to the book. First of all, I type given equation solution in column A. Uh, again, you can put these anywhere. They don't have to be in the exact cells that I call them out in. This just worked for me. It's very free format. And I type in the givens. KCCO Inc. has current assets of $5,300, net fixed assets of $24,900, a current liabilities of $4,600 and long-term debt of $10,300. And the author wants to know uh, what are, uh, is the owner's equity amount and what is the net working capital. So obviously this is a balance sheet question. The equation then will be uh, the balance sheet equation, assets equal liabilities plus owner's equity. And again, I type these in uh, as words. Um, I can put an apostrophe before it or once I start typing a letter, Excel recognizes that as a word. And then uh, also I need the formula NWC, networking capital, equals current assets minus current liabilities to calculate networking capital. First thing I need to do in the solution is construct a uh, vertical balance sheet. So I type words in one cell. Notice I have current assets in uh, C8 and net fixed assets in C9. And I separate the numbers from that so I can operate on the numbers. So I type 5,300 of current assets in D8 and 24,900 in D9, and then in uh, cell uh, D11, I can calculate total assets. Um, total assets are equal to current assets plus net fixed assets. So the formula that will go in there is equal D8, which is this cell, plus D9, and it, it will give me the uh, solution. $30,200. Uh, if your boss asks you to change the current assets all of a sudden and, and or change the net fixed assets, you can do that and the total will change and that's the power of Excel. On the right side of the balance sheet, I have my current liabilities of 4,600. Again, I separate the words current liabilities from the numbers so I can operate on the numbers. Uh, Long-term debt in cell um, F9. 10,300, that was what was given. And then I need to calculate the owner's equity. Now, the balance sheet equation says that it's got to be assets must equal liabilities plus owner's equity. So I can immediately uh, say equal uh, this cell right here. So it's got it where I can type in the number 30,200, one or the other. Or uh, similarly, I could go right to the owner's equity and, and uh, calculate um, equals D11, which is total assets, minus G8 um, minus G9, and that will get me my answer right away, even actually a little bit quicker than if I were to uh, put the 30,200 on the right side. I know my balance sheet must balance. It's got to be. So an alternative is I could put uh, equals D11 in cell G11 and then subtract the current liabilities and long-term debt, and that'll get me my answer. And that's how you do problem number one. Problem number two is uh, looking like an um, income statement. Again, I'm going to build a vertical income statement. Uh, the givens are, right out of the textbook, Billy's Exterminators has sales of 817000 cost of 343000 depreciation expense of 51000 and interest expense of 38000 with a tax rate of 35%. What is the net income? Um, I build my income statement vertically. Again, I separate the words in column C from the numbers in column D so I can operate the numbers all the way down column D. So I type in my sales of 817000 Just type in the number. I type in my cost in uh, D22 of 343000 I type in my depreciation given of 51000 uh, moving down the line. Then I'm going to type in a formula in cell D24. I take uh, equal uh, D21 minus D22 minus D23, and that will give me my EBIT. So EBIT equals sales minus cost minus depreciation. And then I type in, next I type in my interest expense in D25, and then I type in a formula for the EBT calculation. I want to take my EBIT and subtract my interest expense. So EBIT minus the interest equals EBT. 
And I do that by taking D equal D24. All my Excel formulas start with equal. Equal D24 minus D25. Uh, to calculate taxes, I calculate the tax rate of 35% times the EBIT. So I will take um, cell D26 times A27. Notice in A27, I typed in the tax rate of 0.35. Again, if your uh, supervisor comes to you and says, change the tax rate to 34%, you put 0.34 in there, you change the words here, and then you're, it'll automatically calculate what your new tax number is. Our tax rate is 35%, so I'm going to take 35% of 385,000, and I'll get uh, my tax says 134,750. And then the net income is uh, Earnings before interest, uh, earnings before taxes, I'm sorry, EBT in cell um, D26, sorry, yeah, D26 minus D27. That's the formula I'm going to type into D28. Equal D26 minus D27, and that gives me $250,250, and there's your net income. And problem number three, again, given equation solution, given equation solution, keep typing that in. I give my givens, type in my givens, Billy paid 95000 in cash dividends. What are additions to retained earnings? Well, I know the two components of net income are cash dividends and retained earnings. So if I take um, my net income minus um, my cash dividends, which I type separately in cell F33, I'll get my answer. So the equation is equal D28, which is this cell, <clears throat> minus F33, which is my cash dividends, and that gives me an answer of 155,250. There's your solution. Equal D28 minus F33 is your equation. And finally, in problem number four of the examples, um, I'm given that Billy's has 90,000 shares outstanding. What are earnings per share and dividends per share? I type in my equation, earnings per share is net income or earnings. Same thing, earnings and net income are the same thing. Um, net income divided, or MPAT, that's a term that Air Products threw at me. I had no idea what it was. It's net profit after tax, same as net income, same as earnings, sometimes loosely called profit. Uh, take my net income, MPAT, divided by my shares outstanding. So again, very simple answer for earnings per share. I take uh, D28, which are my net income, that's my earnings, and I'm going to divide that by the number of shares, which I've typed separately out here so I can operate on it, and sell F40. 90,000. So the equation in this cell is uh, to, for the solution equal D28 divided by F40. I'm simply dividing my net income calculation divided by the 90,000 shares, and I get to about $2.78 per share. Uh, dividends per share, also very simple. I take the, the uh, cash dividends of um, 95,000 and divide that by the number of shares. 90,000, I get about a dollar five. The other way I could do that would be to take my, the way I did it here, I took my net income in cell D28, subtracted the additions to retained earnings in cell D35, and then divided that uh, combination by cell F40, 90,000 shares. Again, two things I can do with my net income. I can keep it or give it away. If I keep it, I put it into additions to return earnings. You'll learn this in accounting class. If I give it away, I pay it out in the form of cash dividends. Um, in this case, I'm looking at um, my, my dividends of $95,000, and I'm dividing it by the number of shares, 90,000. The alternate way I could calculate this, I could also take cell F33 and divide that by f 40, and that would give, should give me the same answer of about $1, $5.6 per share. Uh, that is the structure we're going to use on every single problem we're going to do. And we'll do about um, over 100 problems, about 10 problems per chapter. I, want, I would like to see the same structure in every single problem you're going to do. Give an equation solution, and that's what you'll need to put on your Excel spreadsheets to get points for this class. Uh, thanks very much, and hopefully enjoyed uh, doing these uh, homework problems.